Okay, what we have here is a hot spot, and what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to shave the entire area plus to make sure because these spread really fast and easy. Um, so you're gonna have to shave all this hair off of it. And then I'll show you what you can do to treat it. So like I said, we're gonna shave the area plus. So I'm shaving as much as I can around it because it's going to spread or it's at least gonna try. Now usually what you do is take your dog to the vet and your vet would sedate your dog and put it under because the, the dog squirms so bad, you know? And so that's a huge bill. After so many years, you learn to suck it up and do it yourself. So I tell you, if my husband had not trained this dog, there's no way I'd be able to do this. It's important that you train your dogs early on. Stuff like this happens, that sure comes in handy. Now we're getting to the sensitive part, so he's going to start wiggling. But the most important thing is to keep this as dry as possible. Now, hot spots are always going to come up when you've had a lot of rain. In the last, what, four days? The last four days or so, we've had a lot of rain every day. And every time that happens, you can count on some hot spots. They're ooey and gooey and gross and not fun for the doggy. You can imagine how this feels for this poor guy. So we're going to shave this area here. Sometimes the worst thing you can do is give them a bath. Uh, but I may have to, it depends on whether or not I decide to keep them inside for the next few days. If I do, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a bath first. I'm gonna dry him really, really good. But probably the best thing to do is to not bathe him and just keep it dry till it heals. Good job, Ken to Winda. Okay, so we got the area shaved. So I'm gonna grab my puffer. Do you know what it is, the puffer over there? Or my medical bag, the black medical bag on the bench? I should have got this together first. So I'm gonna grab my puffer, and you can buy these for like eight bucks at your local feed store. Uh, you can snapshot a picture of what I'm gonna show you, and you can ask them if they carry it right here. Can you see that? Stop moving the phone. Okay. It's about seven or eight bucks. And the reason I call it a puffer is because it's got a special lid, you see here, and you squeeze it. And when you squeeze it, it puffs out this medicated powder. And you want to put that right on here. I know, baby. I know. Shh, 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 shh. This is starting to get uncomfortable for you, huh? I know. I know it. You want to get this area as dry as possible, and this is the only way that we're going to pull this off. I know, baby. I'm using excess right now, but it's a pretty good one, so... We really got to get this dry. I know, honey. I know. Take a breath. Take a breath. I know. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, shh, shh. I know. It's not comfy. I know it. I know. You're, 
You're doing really good. You're doing really good. All righty. And that's how we're going to treat a hot spot. Thanks.